So good morning. Um, so I've had this series of things happen in like the last five minutes that have been barriers, but it's very important to me to do this video today because um, I had last evening, I, I was doing what I do on my phone and I was, um, I was thinking about someone. So I had this person in thought and I was looking through like pictures and, um, and different things. And then all of a sudden this person or idea pops up on my screen, like at exactly the same time as I'm, as I'm thinking about and in this space about this particular person. And I, <laughs> and this kind of thing happens a lot, a lot for me. And what the challenge is at this moment is trying to figure out like which ones to pay attention to and which ones not to. <laughs> but, and, and like in getting ready to do this video, like this whole series of things happen, like my print, printer ink is out, so I wasn't able to print out a, a picture that I wanted to that had a quote that I wanted to talk about. And um, just this whole series of things was happening at once that were barriers. So does that mean that I shouldn't do this video? <laughs> is that like a sign that I shouldn't do this video? Like this is where I'm, I'm having, um, a quandary because it certainly, you know, in the terms of Abraham Hicks, it certainly was not the path of least resistance for me today to do this video. It seemed like there were obstacles that kept coming, but it, it was really pertinent to me. Um, so, so this morning, you know, after having the thing last night where I was pondering this person and then this thing pops up on the, on my, on my, on my um, phone, um, I I just got to really thinking about this. I, I was like, I don't know which, what to ignore. I, I don't know. I don't have the discernment at this point to realize, I guess it's whatever seems like the best, whatever seems the best. But anyway, <sighs> the quote that I wanted to talk about was from Abraham Hicks, and it says, Many around you want to point out reality. They say, face reality, look at what is. It says, then by law of attraction, you will create only more of what is. You must be able to put your thoughts beyond what is in order to attract something more. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to, so, so, so if we focus on what is, as people are always suggesting to me, if I focus on what is, then I'm just gonna get more of what is. So, but if I put my thoughts and intentions to beyond what is, then that's what I'm going to attract. And so this is the space that I'm trying to, to live in like I'm I'm aspiring to be like a deliberate creator like a deliberate creator of my life <laughs> and I was thinking today about how it's I mean we could just live in what is just live in what is our entire life and just live in what is and, and sort of be a victim of, or just like, well, but we didn't create it. We didn't, well, we sort of created it by default because we are creating, whether we, we are creating our experience, whether we like it or not. And so we are responsible for things that just stay the same if we are wanting it to be different and things happen all the time. Like everybody knows that, like, like, you know, you get a flat tire <laughs> and then you have to deal with the flat tire. And so we, we have these, these incidences happen like pretty consistently 
that, you know, see, see what is just is bad. It's not good. But what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create my day, create my life, create, um, something different. And so if I stay in what is, and I stay in the seeming reality as people would like me to, nothing will change and it, it will just continue to be the way it's been. And in all actuality, it's been amazing. Like I've been realizing just how wonderful that my life has been. And now I'm trying to create more. I'm trying to create more. I, I, I'm trying to create more. And so I cannot live in what is and create the more. <laughs> anyway, that's all I wanted to say. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye.